Hi, this is Jake. As you know, Apple computers have a really good reputation for security. One of the reasons they have that reputation is because an administrator password is required whenever you want to install an application or make any changes to the operating system. It looks very similar to this. Whenever you go to install an application, you have to put in a password. Or if there's any changes that need to be made to the operating system, you got to put in a password. Windows doesn't have that level of security. It has a um, yes, no dialog box whenever you want to install an application or make changes to the operating system, which is not the same level of security. So I'm going to show you how you can make your Windows operating system just as secure as a Mac OS operating system and be required to, ins uh, to type in the password for the administrator in order to install applications and make changes to the operating system. This primarily is because you want to uh, prevent viruses and any malware from making changes to your uh, operating system like turning off the firewall or installing some nefarious software. So if, uh, if you're a busy individual you may just uh, click yes or no uh, on the dialog box um, just to get it out of the way. Uh, also uh, uh, so let's take a look. Let's take a look at that. See what that looks like. All right. So this is a standard Windows 7 uh, operating system, fresh out of the box experience, where the user that's logged in has a password, but it is an administrator level uh, user, and it's uh, just in a work group. So this isn't in a domain or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to install Evernote on my computer. I download this installer and I double click on it and uh, after it extracts I will get this window, this user account control window that says do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this, com to this computer and all I get is a yes or no. Now if I'm a busy individual or uh, and I don't take the time to read this or maybe one of my children are um, on their computer in some programs trying to install itself or perhaps it's an older person who uh, doesn't um, you know, maybe they're having a hard time reading the, the dialog box. You know, they may just click yes just to get it out of the way and you know, get on with what they were doing, which is very dangerous behavior. So uh, what I want to do is I want to change this so that whenever a program is installed or a change is made to the operating system, that's going to force me to put in the administrator password. So I'm going to go ahead and click no here just to cancel the installation. And I'm going to go ahead and make those changes uh, to force it to have um, a password, a password be entered in order to install the program. So I'm going to go to my control panel and I'm going to go to administrative tools and I'm going to go down to local security policy and I want to go to local policies here and then I'll see security options. Now I'm going to go down to uh, the use where I'll find user control behavior for uh, elevation prompt for administrators in approval mode. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And as you can see, the default uh, behavior is to prompt for consent. That's the yes, no dialog box. But what I want to do is I'm going to change that to prompt for credentials on the secure desktop. So what the secure desktop is, is Windows is going to uh, lock any action until uh, whenever, uh, like the a program is being installed or whenever any changes are made to the operating system, it's going to lock everything until that dialog box is dealt with, either entering the password or clicking no to cancel the operation. So prompt for credentials on a secure desktop. And I'm going to go down to this one right here. This is the behavior uh, of the elevation prompt for standard users. If I create any standard users, that, that means not administrative uh, users. I'm going to tell it to, you know, the default um, action is to prompt for credentials, but I'm going to elevate the security a bit, and I'm going to say prompt for credentials on the secure desktop. Okay, I'm going to back out of here, close all my windows, and we're going to try to install Evernote again. This time, it should ask for uh, the administrator password. And there you go. So now you have to install, uh, so i got to in enter my administrator password. Jake is a administrator account so that's okay and I'm going to type in my password 
and the installation shall proceed. Yep. So that's about it. That's just uh, an easy trick. Uh, to, a couple of clicks to make your Windows operating system more secure, make it more like the OS 10 uh, on the Apple computers. So if you um, uh, have any questions, please contact me. I'm going to put the uh, directions on how to access the uh, user account controls to change that uh, for the prompt for an administrator password in the show notes. And thank you for watching.